Alright folks, so this is Acid Roots, and we're gonna try to tackle this vast game called Final Fantasy VII. I've got loads of tricks up my sleeve, I think my personality can handle a three disc PlayStation game from tw over 20 years ago. And uh, we're just gonna see where we get with it. Now obviously this is gonna be an ongoing project, I'm not gonna beat this in two months, three months, five months. I'm starting it at in early May of 2020, and it could be September of 2021 by the time I beat the game. I'm not even sure at this stage. I'm just going to play it just for the sake of having fun. If you happen to jump in on the experience in part 31 or 49 or something like that, I would just say, hell, you know, have fun with it. I'm going to try to include like mini vlogs and skits and various humor just to kind of spruce things up because I know it's an engaging game but it's just going to get the acid roots twist so if you're a fan of my vlog channel acidic roots and you like characters like cobalt and gary nitro and folks like that they'll be here just stay tuned they're not going to be in the first episode second episode but eventually as time goes on you'll be seeing a lot of spice in this and I, it's, I hope that this cleverness that I put into this project catches on because it's going to be dastardly. It definitely is. I really have not beaten a Final Fantasy game before. It's kind of the situation. I got decently far in the world of Ruin in Final Fantasy VI. I got decently far in Final Fantasy Mystic Quest. I almost beat Chrono Trigger. Uh, I somewhat, I know enough about Final Fantasy IV and I've played to a certain point in this game. I borrowed this from my friends in the past and a lot of people who I knew in the past used to really talk about this game and the even Advent children on top of that. So I do have somewhat of a story history with this game. It's been here since 97. You know, it's a long time coming. So yeah. Uh, way back like when I first started Acidic Roots back in summer of 2015, I rented Advent Children and I talked about the fact that I was going to talk about it. I did like a series of videos pertaining to Final Fantasy, but I deleted those. So, and obviously you weren't missing much, but I wanted to get back to Final Fantasy VII. That's kind of the thing. I think this is a staple and a definite classic. Now obviously you would think, well why aren't you just doing the FF7 remake? I don't know, I don't own a PS4, so that's probably why. Uh, not really too many reasons why I want a PS4. This would probably be like the main game I would play. If you ever met someone who has like a brand spanking new console, but then doesn't have more than just one game, that's kind of how I would be with it. Yeah, so about the text in this game. I'm not going to... I'm not going to read the text. You're going to have to read it, but I will give you enough space to where when the text comes up that you should be able to read it enough. If I talk during the text, that just means you just have to drown me out and you should be able to kind of have the time to figure it out. But... I've got stuff to say, and I don't know if I'll take breaks in between when the characters are talking. I might, you know, it just depends upon how important the text is. So. But as of right now, you know, in a few minutes, or in a minute or so, we're going to get the opportunity to name Cloud, and I'm just going to kind of say, you know, I'm not going to call this character Cloud. I feel like that's kind of generic. Everyone just kind of goes with the standard name. I'm actually going to give him a thrilling name. Something I typically name Final Fantasy characters the lead hero. And I'll probably wind up naming most of the other characters. Barret, Tifa, the lion thing. You know, all those people. So... It's gonna, I mean, I'll tell you, I don't know the names offhand. This is going to be kind of spur of the moment. That's how, if you find Barrett's name strange, that was the spur of the moment that I came up with it, so. I am trying to talk to all the characters, because I do want to. Virtually every character that I'm able to talk to, I'm going to. That's the point of an RPG. So. 
yeah, this, uh, this game is still thrilling. I mean, that's the thing. This is like an epic-sized adventure. I play this all the time on my PlayStation Classic. This happens to be the thing. And this is, I mean, it's a highlight. This happens to be the thing there. The story still stands up. And the characters, the shit that they say, it just is so inclusive. I mean, you know, you have drunks in this game and all sorts of other shit that they do. This has a real abundance of good stuff. They even curse in the game. It's probably like the first video game that I remember there being cursing in text. Mario would never do that, neither would Zelda. And uh, for the most part, you know, Super Nintendo games rarely cursed. I think this is actually the first Final Fantasy VII game, or Final Fantasy game to do that. Well, let's name Barrett, shall we? What do you think it'll be? That's right, we're gonna call him Orc. I was gonna call him Goblin, but I figured, you know, I almost thought I should, but I feel like Orc is slicker. So. But if I ever do Final Fantasy VIII, these character names will not carry over, probably. I mean, at least, so, at least Zone will, but I think the other ones probably will not. Last to play Final Fantasy games, I gotta tell ya. Fun. <laughs> I really, once again, I can't stress that I have no clue as to when this game is gonna be beat. I'm not gonna be on a fastidious schedule about this and kinda say, oh, this will, I'll have this done by July 13th or something. It's not gonna happen. <laughs> It's kind of like a side hustle, you know, that's kind of the situation. It's a side hustle, I mean, when I have not, it's not first priority, but if I'm bored and I'm getting kind of pissed off with the way things are going, I'll probably delve into this game. So just be happy with the parts you get. It's kind of like Super Mario Bros. 3. I mean, I'm not going to just all but abandon this, but it just depends upon what happens as I play it. I'm assuming I can beat the game, of course. I should be able to. It would be brilliant if I could. But it could be 2021, it could be 2022 before that happens. So this is just the coronavirus adventures of Acid Roots and Zone and Cobalt and the rest of these characters work and everything. how many of the battles I'm going to wind up keeping. I mean, if they if it starts to be like the same enemy too much and I really find myself not having shit to say, I will probably just snip a bunch of these, but this really depends on, you know, just the conditions behind it. Because I think even having personality traits to handle something like this, it's still going to be a tax in the toll to sit there and do it that many times. So there's, there's probably going to be like hundreds of battles and random battles, probably even thousands, you know, by the time we get to disc 2 or disc 3. So. Barrett's group, the, if you're trying to somewhat pay attention to the plot, I'll try to somewhat pay attention to the plot to kind of put it in layman's terms. Basically, the avalanche are the freedom fighters that are trying to restore the planet because Shinra is using the, the Mako energy to drill the planet for all its resources. And Cloud was with Shinra, but he changed. And you'll find that he has a storied history with some of the people around these parts is kind of conflicted on whether or not he's actually going to help. Really, he was a mercenary, but he starts to realize that he's probably going to be something more than that. So, it's kind of... 
I, I'll tell you, I mean, when I tried paying attention to the plot of, like, Final Fantasy VI, I mean, I caught some of that stuff, but it was a very developed plot. I mean, that's the thing. I think these people were easily scholars that came up with this game, and it was brilliant. I mean, all of the Final Fantasies are brilliant. Brilliant. Most of them are above 8s and 9s out of 10, you know. That's the being said. You know, you say you're working on Final Fantasy, you have to have standards for that. Glad that they nailed it back in '97 and '94, and so on. It's not my problem. <laughs> not like Han Solo, you know. People like that. I could give a shit less about this, man. It's funny because Barrett, you know, he's kind of more of an asshole than Cloud, but he he's more concerned with helping. It's kind of a foil to the plot, you know. Yeah. But I'll tell you. This makes me wonder if I would even want a PS4 at this stage. I mean, I would like to play this game once again after I complete it, but this makes me wonder if there's anything new. If there were stuff new, I definitely probably would have to get a PS4, but I just don't think it would be for Xbox One, which is unfortunate. I just don't know what to do. Remakes get more love these days than other things, you know. Get me a potion. Alright, we're about done. You know, this about concludes things. We'll get into another battle or something, and that'll virtually take care of it. The only problem with it is, is there can only be three characters in battle in this one. And I think Final Fantasy IX, you can have four, and I think Final Fantasy VIII, you can only have three, but... Uh, this is so much easier. I guess they figured it would have been too easy uh, fighting with four characters, you know. Which makes sense, just because these characters are stylish and have nice attacks. You'll see that once we get the limit breaks going and higher levels and more magic and everything. Oh. There's a save point down there. Be fun, 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 fun recreation. <laughs> yeah, I got hit with a back attack. That's unlucky. If the boss ever does that, that could really screw you over. Pincer attacks also. I'm not sure. I, well, you, yeah, I think you can either be pincered or do the pincering. And this is kind of like not quite sure. We'll see how that goes. I don't remember. I know they're in Final Fantasy VI. So there is the save point. So that'll basically conclude things. Stay tuned for part two. This was relatively simple, wasn't it? We made it to the first save point. <laughs> Oh yeah, this won't take two and a half years, will it? I don't know. Let's place your bets, folks. Make a drinking game. Make a betting game out of when you think I'll beat this game if I ever do. Subscribe for more fun. Stay tuned.